Welcome back to my channel Sai Knowledge Transfer. If you haven't subscribed yet, go back and subscribe. So today we are going to study about water vascular system in starfish. So this is the diagram of a typical water vascular system in the starfish. Let us study about it. Let us study about its parts one by one. The first part is madriporite. It is rounded calcareous plate occurs on the above surface of a starfish. Interestingly, it possesses over 200 minute spores in it. It is the opening through which the water enters the starfish. The madriporite opens into a shaped flagellated canal called stone canal. This stone canal opens into pentagonal shaped ring canal which surrounds the mouth in the oral surface. The far sided ring canal gives rise to five arm like structures called radial canal. This radial canal gives out two series of short branches called lateral canals. This lateral canal is just a connecting branch between radial canal and tube feeds. These tube feeds are many in numbers. These are just elastic sac like structures. We shall study about this separately at the end. I think we forgot something. Yeah, the tide man's bodies. These are the projections from the ring canal internally. These are small yellowish rounded granular bodies. The function is still unknown, but some of the scientists suggest that these are lymphatic glands to manufacture amoebocytes of water vascular system in starfish. The ring canal also gives out externally thin-walled, long-necked structures called porian vesicles. The function of this is to regulate the pressure inside the system so as the water moves smoothly. These are also helpful in manufacture of amoebocytes. Now we shall study about the tube feeds. As you can see, tube feet have three structures, an ampulla, podium, and a sucker. Ampulla is a muscular sac-like structure. Commonly, there is only one ampulla, but in some, it may be bilobed. An ampulla constricts and produces a tube-like structure called podium, and podium ends with sucker. Through the sucker, the water goes out. The whole tube feet expresses outwards from the body, of a starfish. So the water moves in, the, in this direction. First the water enters to, to the starfish through madriporite and it goes to the stone canal. From stone canal it is connected to pentagonal ring canal and ring canal is connected to rod shaped radial canal. From radial canal there arises two series of lateral canal. Lateral canal is connected to the tube feeds through which the water moves out. Porian vesicles help to regulate the pressure inside the system. So the tube feed pushes the water and moves in a particular direction. This water vascular system is not only used for locomotion but is also used for food capturing by the tube feeds and attachment to, to the specific substratum. It is very helpful in them. So that's it for today. Do like, comment and share with your friends and subscribe to our channel Sign Knowledge Transfer. Thank you.